Hey boys and girls, today we are going to talk about how to score a game of bowling by hand. It's important to learn how to score a game of bowling because not all bowling alleys have the computers to score for you and sometimes those computers can be wrong. One turn in bowling or two rolls of the ball equals one frame in bowling. A frame looks like the box shown on the screen. Your first roll of the ball would go in the upper left-hand corner. So let's pretend that Mrs. Malloy rolled the ball. She knocked down three pins. So the three would go in the upper left-hand corner of the frame. My second roll of the ball would go in the upper right-hand corner. And if I rolled the ball a second time and I scored six pins, the six would go in the upper right-hand corner. The game total goes down in the bottom middle of the frame and goes along for the entire game. If this was my first frame of bowling, you would just add three plus six equals nine is my game total so far. Some rules to scoring that we need to know. First thing we need to know is that a strike is when you knock down all of the pins in one roll. Most of us already know that, but more importantly, we need to know how to score it. A strike is scored with an X in the upper right-hand corner. Yes, that's normally where your second roll goes, but because it's your only roll, that's why it goes in the upper right-hand corner. A strike is equal to 10 plus the next two rolls. It's equal to 10 because you knock down all 10 pins. Then, as a bonus, you get to add whatever numbers are your next two rolls of the ball. This will be an important key to helping you score. A spare is equal to knocking down all of the pins in two rolls. A spare is marked with whatever number you may have gotten of pins in the upper left-hand corner. That could be any number from zero to nine, whatever you got on your first roll. Then in the right hand box, it's marked with a slash to show that you got the rest of the pins down. A spare is equal to 10, because you knocked down 10 pins, plus just the next roll. So not quite as good as a strike, but still better than just adding up the numbers. Again, this equation will be important to helping you know how to score in bowling. Last thing we need to know before we do some scoring is the foul. If you get a foul, that's when you step on or past the front line of the bowling lane, you get a zero for that roll. Even if you knocked pins down, you would still get a zero because you got a foul. If the foul happens on your first roll of the ball, you would have to reset your pins so that you can take your second roll. That way you can go for the spare. If the foul happens on your second roll, you would get a zero for that turn and your turn is over. Let's do some scoring. As you can see, I added my first frame already that we've added. Now it's my second turn. On my first roll of the ball, I get one pin down. So I put a one in the upper left-hand corner. Then I take my second roll and I get five more pins down. So I put my five in the upper right-hand corner. To add up my game total, I have to take my score of nine from my first frame and add it to my second frame. So I would take nine plus one plus five equals 15. So now 15 is my game total so far. On my third turn, when I roll the ball, I get a strike. When I'm going to score for my game total for my strike, I can't put a score 
for my game total in yet. That's because a strike is worth 10 plus my next two rolls of the ball. So I have to wait until I roll the ball two more times to be able to add up my game total for frame three. I would wait for my next turn. On my fourth turn, my first roll of the ball, I get seven. And my second roll of the ball, I knock down the rest of the pins for a spare. Now remember, I already knocked down seven, so the rest of those pins would really be a three. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to add up my frame three game total. I start with my total score so far, 15. Then I'm going to add 10 for my strike because I knocked down 10 pins. So 15 plus 10 is 25. Then I'm going to add my next two rolls. Well, my next two rolls was a spare, and a spare means I got all 10 pins down in two rolls. So I would be adding 10 more. 15 plus 10 for my strike is 25, plus 10 for my next two rolls is 35. That 35 goes in frame three. Now when I go to add up my game total for frame four, I again have to wait because a spare is worth 10 plus the next roll. I have to wait for one more roll. On my fifth, fifth frame, my first roll of the ball, I knock down one pin. My second roll of the ball, I knock down eight more pins. Now I've taken two more rolls of the ball. So I have plenty to go back and add up my frame four game total score. I start with my frame three game total, 35. I add 10 for my spare because I knocked down 10 pins in frame four. 35 plus 10 is 45. Then I add just my next roll, which was one. 45 plus one is 46. 46 is my new game total for frame four. I already went for frame five, so I can keep adding. I take my 46 game total and I add one and eight. So 46 plus one plus eight equals 55. 55 is my new game total after frame five. Frame six, my first roll of the ball, I knock down zero pins. So I don't get any points, but notice I still put a zero in that spot. So I know that there was um, a roll of the ball there. Then on my second roll, I knock down six pins. So I take my game total of 55 plus zero plus six, and my new total is 61. As you keep adding for your entire game, a bowling game is 10 frames of bowling. So I would keep going for my seventh, eighth, ninth turn. And on my 10th turn or my 10th frame, you'll notice that the box looks different. The box looks different because I can earn a third bonus roll if I get a strike or a spare in my first two rolls of the 10th frame. If I earn a strike or a spare in my first two rolls, I get that bonus roll. If I don't, I don't get the bonus roll. So it's up to what you get on those first two rolls of the 10th frame. When you're adding the 10th frame, it can seem a little tricky if you get a strike or a spare. But really, all you have to do for the 10th frame, there are no more rolls coming after the 10th frame. That's the last part of your game. So all you would do to score a 10th frame is add up the total number of pins knocked down and add that to your game total in frame nine. Let's see if we can finish up adding this game. We're starting with our eighth frame. 
I have 125 points. Pretty good game for Mrs. Malloy. On my first roll of my ninth frame, I knocked down seven pins, so that goes in the upper left-hand corner. On my second roll, I knocked down the rest of the pins, so I get a spare. Can I add up my total for the ninth frame yet? Nope. I have to wait for my next roll because a spare is equal to 10 plus my next roll. So on my 10th frame or my 10th turn, I start out by rolling the ball. On my first roll of the ball, I get a strike, which means I will earn that bonus third roll. Because I got a strike on my first roll, I still get two more rolls of the ball. So on my second roll, I got three pins down. And then on my bonus third roll, I get a spare. So I got the remaining seven pins down. Now I'm going to go all the way back to my game total of frame eight of 125 and start adding up the rest of my score. For my frame nine game total, I'm going to take 125 plus 10 for my spare is 135 plus my next roll, which was the strike, which equals 10, which gives me 145. Now remember the rule of adding up the 10th frame. All I'm going to do is add up my total pins that I knocked down and then add it to my frame nine game total. I knocked down 10 pins for my strike and 10 pins for my spare. That gives me 20. 145 plus 20 equals 165 is my game ending total. Now you're going to practice scoring your own bowling game. Good luck. <laughs> 